in this problem. A 200mm by 300mm rectangular beam is loaded as shown below. We are tasked to compute the following. The maximum shearing stress, the maximum bending stress in the moment 3 meters from the free end. And to solve this problem, the maximum shearing stress and bending stress for a cantilever beam, it tends to occur at the support, which is this fixed end here. It has a support reaction, going vertical in the moment reaction. Let's call this Vmax for this year and Mmax for the moment. Now to solve for this year, we take submission force vertical equal to zero, considering upward forces to be positive. We have Vmax minus this triangular load to get the resultant. We get the area, that is, the area of the triangle that's one half times a base of two meters times a height of eight kilonewton per meters, all equal to zero. We get P max, that is equal to one half times two times eight, that is equal to eight kilonewtons. And so for the maximum moment. We take submission moment at the supports at the support equal to zero. So submission moment. Let's call this point A equal to zero, considering counterclockwise to be positive. So we have a triangular load that has a resultant force that is found two thirds from this side here. That's two thirds of two meters. or one third from this side here. So we can solve for the moment arm of this resultant force that has a value of one half times the base of two meters times the height of eight meters, which is equal to eight kilonewtons. So we have a maximum moment going counterclockwise so it's positive minus this resultant force that would induce a clockwise moment so it's negative with a magnitude of eight kilonewtons times the moment arm distance of one plus two thirds of two meters all equal to zero we can solve for the maximum moment at the support that is just equal to eight times one plus two thirds of two which is equal to 18.67 kilonewton meters let's round this off to three decimal places Now that we have our reaction at the support, we're going to solve for, for the maximum shearing and bending stress. For the shearing stress, this is, let's call this Fv, that is equal to Vq over Ib. But since this is a rectangular beam, we can use a derived formula for the shearing stress or maximum shearing stress of the rectangular beam. That is equal to 3 times the shearing stress divided by twice the area that is equal to 3 times shearing stress of 8 kilonewtons or 8,000 newtons divided by twice the area of the rectangular beam that is 200 millimeters times 300 millimeters we get our shearing stress equal to 3 times 8,000 divided by 2 times 200 times 300 which is equal to 0 0.2 megapascals And so for the maximum bending stress, that is equal to MC over I. But since this is a rectangular section, we can just use the derived formula for, a, for the maximum bending stress of the rectangular beam to make our calculations much faster. That is equal to 6 times the moment, or maximum moment, divided by base times the height squared. So the maximum bending stress is equal to 6 times the moment of 18.667 kilonewton meters and to convert this into a newton millimeters we multiply this by a factor of 10 raised to the power of 6 it is now a newton millimeters divided by the base of the beam that is a length of 200 millimeters times the height of 300 millimeters raised to the power of 2 we can also for the bending stress that is equal to 6 times 18.667 times 10 raised to the power of 6 divided by 200 times 300 squared. Look at our answer 
for the maximum bending stress that is equal to 6.22 megapascals. Now for the last problem, to solve for the moment, 3 meters going from the free end that is found right here, we can cut this segment and consider the left section or left side of this beam. So we can consider the right side. We expose the shear moment of the this segment that has a reaction at a fixed end with a shear of 8 kN and moment of 18.667 kN meters in a length of 1 meters. So assuming our moment goes in the counterclockwise and our shear goes upward, we can solve for the moment at the free end, 3 meters from the free end by taking summation moment at this point here, let's call it point P, taking summation of moment at point P equal to 0, considering counterclockwise to be positive. So we have a moment let's call this mb and it is positive because it's going counterclockwise plus the 18.667 kilonewton meters that would induce a counterclockwise moment so it's positive and then minus the 8 kilonewton times the moment arm distance of one meter it's negative because it's it would induce a clockwise moment this is all equal to zero now we can solve for the moment at p that is MB plus 18.667 minus 8 times 1 equal to 0. Ship solving, we get moment at B equal to negative 10.667. And this negative sign indicates that our assumption for the direction of MB is incorrect. Therefore, it's going in the clockwise direction. Now since it is clockwise, it is negative, we can adjust our equation. We should expect to get a positive value of 10.667. And that is the moment 6 meters, I mean 3 meters from the free end. And these are our final answers.